girl. Mm -hmm. I'm rocking this stew. I'm rocking it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Ugh, I finally risen from the grave. I have been so sick for the last two weeks. I feel horrible because I've put this off for so long. First of all, Joy, girl, if you're watching, your package was sent out today. I'm so sorry I didn't make it in time for Valentine's Day. I don't know why I caught this bug, but I did, and it really put me behind on everything. So just to let you know, I sent it out today, and I messaged you just letting you know all the details. So um, if you have any questions, just message me back, and I will answer them for you. Second of all, this is a collab video that I've teamed up with Marla Gray. She's another fellow YouTuber. She's really, really adorable and sweet. And you guys should totally follow her because she's actually um, keeping kind of like a journal of her weight loss journey. And I know a lot of us suffer from like weight issues and just self-confidence and and overall just loving ourselves and I think um, we should totally support each other and um, follow her give her some support and motivation she's lost a lot of weight on her journey and I think that it's uh, really cool that she's able to share that with us so if you guys get a chance please 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 go to Marla's channel I'll have it down below and I'll have her name right here somewhere and um, definitely uh, check her out and subscribe and support and so anyway I will get to the point of this video today's video is on our top five favorite spring lippies. The first one here is from JLB Cosmetics. It's a liquid lipstick. It kind of reminds me of the melted um, the melted lipsticks from Too Faced. And I, I got this in a package thing at Ross. I don't know if they still make cosmetics, but I'm sure you could find plenty of similar colors. This one is called Iconic Red, but for some reason it comes out more of like a fuchsia color. So um, let me show you what it looks like. It has the little applicator and all the product is here. Look at that. See what I mean? It's like really bright pink. The way it looks on camera is actually how it looks in person. But I thought this was such a pretty color. I'm all about bright colors for spring and I think this color is really, really awesome. I think the name is pretty deceiving because it's not really red. It looks more like a bright pink. Um, I'll swatch it for you right now. Another reason I really like this um, lip product is because it feels so velvety and smooth when you apply it. It's not like, it's not glossy, so it's not like a lip gloss. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just very velvety when you put it on. It is such a pretty color. So you see what I mean? It's not red. I don't know why it's called Iconic Red. It's more like a bright pink. But uh, this is what it looks like and it's definitely a color I want to wear this spring. It's a color that you could totally pull off with just like your eyebrows and maybe a little bit of mascara and then the lipstick and you're set for the day. So this is my number one uh, lip, well not number one, this is one of the lipsticks that I will totally be digging for um, spring and it's uh, like a fuchsia color. I'm gonna call it fuchsia even though it's iconic red. I actually was surprised when I found this and I really like the way it looks on and the way it feels. It's from LA Colors and it's a lip gloss and lipstick duo. I got this at Dollar Tree actually and um, it comes with the lipstick on one end and the lip gloss on the other. The lip gloss has a lot of shimmer in it. Really, really cute. And the lipstick, it's like a pinky mauve color. I'm so into those kind of colors because I feel like it's an everyday color that's not as um, intimidating or as like out there as like that pink one that I showed you. 
um, but I really liked it and I like the fact that you can combine a lip gloss with it if you're like heavily into shiny lips and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on so you can see but this is my other favorite one to go for spring because it's definitely a color that I think anybody can pull off and it's it's like an everyday color so just put it on right now for you guys I love how this smells. It smells like the gum that you get at those um, at the parties. All my Hispanic people, you know what parties I'm talking about? Like all the birthday parties for the piñatas, they put in that gum that's like super super hard, but it's so freaking good when you chew on it. That's exactly what this smells like. So it's a pleasant smell. Um, and this is what it looks like without the gloss. So I'm happy with it this way, you know. But if you're into shiny lips, which a lot of people are, then you have the applicator on the other end and you just go ahead and apply it. Like so. Mmm, it smells the same. Good job, LA Colors. And you can sort of build up as much gloss as you would like on your lips, but this is what it looks like with the gloss on top. The next lipstick for spring that I would absolutely love to sport is actually a really bright purple. It's actually called Vibrant Violet. So um, it's from Maybelline and I've worn this several times. I've already shown it to you on my Instagram, but I just, I, I have to stress how much I love bright colors and this color is just so freaking beautiful. It's uh, one of the matte lines. This is what it looks like. This is the case. And I need to breathe because this is just too beautiful. I love it. It's a gorgeous color. I know a lot of people are afraid of colors like these. And you know, it does, t these kind of colors and like some of the pinks, like the first one, do tend to make your teeth look a little yellow. But you know what? I don't care. I love the color and I just love using it. I feel like it's a really pretty color that complements anyone actually, even if you're pale. I think pale skin, dark skin, olive tones, like all the colors, you can definitely pull off any lipstick you want as long as you're confident with it. You will show off that confidence and you'll look gorgeous with whatever color you wear. So this is the um, from Maybelline and it's number 681 Vibrant Violet. So I'll go ahead and put it on. You hear the birds chirping? Oh, I love this color. It is so beautiful. I just, just watch, love it, embrace it, wear it, buy it. This part's always awkward because I don't know what to do with my mouth. I'm like, Okay, so the next one is not a pink or a violet color. It's actually a more muted color, and it's from Gerard Cosmetics. I really like the Iced Mocha um, Hydra Matte lip, Liquid Lipstick, and so I finally bought one, and I really liked Iced Mocha because it reminded me of back in the 90s, and um, I grew up in the 90s. I was born in the 80s, but I grew up in the 90s, so I wore similar colors to this, and I really, really wanted it. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to look brown, I think. Like, I think it depends on your skin tone. It'll come out looking different, because I feel like on me, it's got more like a lavender gray look to it, so. very smooth and velvety too. It's 
I love how it glides on. It's almost like you're putting nothing on. I think it's, sorry. <laughs> I think it's the perfect nude color. Like, for me, on other skin tones, like if you have a similar skin tone to me, this is probably what it's gonna look like. More like a your lip color, really. But I really, really like it. Um, it's like you're putting nothing on. It just, I don't know, it's weird. But this is what it looks like. It's iced mocha, and it's the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I don't know if you can read that. I'll have it down in the description box. I'll have all of these on there. Um, but yeah, I ordered this online. So the last lip product is actually going to be anticlimactic. It's nothing huge or like amazing. I mean, for me it's amazing because it's full of glitter and it's from LA Colors. It's the Brilliant Brilliant Shine Glitter Gloss. So you're probably wondering, what the hell is that? It looks like this. It's pretty much a glittery lip gloss. I grew up wearing this kind of stuff because I've always been the person that felt like lipsticks don't really look good on me. I have weird shaped lips. They're all, um, it's full of a lot of lines. I don't know. I never liked my lips. And so I always felt that the only thing that complemented my lips were clear lip glosses or glittery ones. And um, now that I'm older, I love trying different colors, bright colors, dark colors, any shade that's out there. And um, when I found this at my local Dollar Tree, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it because it reminded me of my childhood. And I love that it's um, very glittery. And I think glitter lip glosses should definitely be something that you should have in your makeup collection. It, it looks like this. It smells really good. Kind of like grape. So yeah, a lot of you might not agree with me, but for me personally, in my collection, I really like this for spring because I like to wear this with my lip stains and I don't know, I just feel like it's something that everybody should have. Everybody should have at least a clear lip gloss or in this case, a glittery one. This is what it looks like. And it just adds a nice shine to your lips if you're not into wearing lipsticks or um, like anything that has color to it. You just want to add shine to your lips. This is the way to go. And it does feel like your typical lip gloss, so I'm not going to lie to you there. If you don't like that feeling, you're probably not going to like it, but um, if you don't care, I definitely recommend getting a glittery lip gloss because there will be days where you just can't find the color that you want to wear today and you can never go wrong with this. It's just perfect and girly and I don't know, I love it. So those are my top 5 spring lip products for this year that I will be sporting and I really really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to check out Marla's channel because she will be doing her top fives as well and I really appreciate it Marla that you took the time to do this collab with me I'm so sorry it took me this long to do it I've been so sick I'm still recovering but I feel a lot better so thank you girl for agreeing to do this with me and thank you guys for watching I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video bye